who this? Hold on, let's see. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. I think this hair is like a little too poofy so i'm actually going to straighten it so <sighs> the thing about getting a good a good a good silk press is the blow and with this type of hair you cannot be lazy with the blowout. Mm -mm. So I always do that, and then one side looks better than the other because I got lazy. I'm trying to go back to cosmetology school, so I want to do it the way a professional would. Now, obviously, a professional would do four. Like, come on, we ain't got time to talk about it. that the ends look like super straight but I just did not like how they was looking before like what the hell is this <laughs> do not do not do not try to do a silk press on yourself without detangling your hair it's just gonna be more work for you later, right? The key to a good silk press is a good foundation, a good blowout. To have a good blowout, to have completely detangled hair, right? Because our arms, we use our arms for everything throughout the day. You don't want to get you know, tired from just doing your hair for a few minutes, right? Because if you blow dry your hair, especially with like a brush attachment, and there's like knots in there, God help you, see, there's a knot here. Like when you hear that tugging, like my advice to you is do not, and like you see, I'm spending a lot of time combing this because that's how high maintenance this is. Like, if I hadn't texturized it a little bit, oh my god, I don't even know how long I would be here. This is one section. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna use is Bio Silk. Bronner Brothers foam, moisturizing foam, old faithful. Sleek. So this is actually a <laughs> this is a color wow dupe. I got it at um, Sally's. It's actually seven dollars, and it works pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do too too much, and then maybe at the end we'll use this. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little section. Start the program. Okay. Oh, 
start from the bottom. Don't be like me. Because now, right? It's all lost in there. Yo, I did all that and I didn't even put the products in my hair. Please do not be like me. Okay. Um, there's one more thing I need to see. Heat protectant is probably the most important thing. Well, I mean, this also um, doubles as a heat protectant, so. Like, not even a lot. This is actually silk, silk elements. I honestly feel like I put too much because, like, you could just already see. Maybe this might be nice now. Okay. Yeah, there are moves. We got our empty humidity spray. Now, it is the winter, but um, I go to the gym. So, I don't know. Maybe this could help. I already hear the snaggles. Now, this is just blow dry. Do you see the shine, honey? It's still a little wet. It feels, it feels very, very wet. That's, that's the thing about this hair, like, I think I'm gonna have to use the old-fashioned one.
because the bristles on here are not getting through it at all. Bed Bath and Beyond suggestion. Um, just gotta get it done the old-fashioned way and look it's much better much drier <laughs> my arms okay let me okay so next Okay, it's me and all faithful then. Like, you see how textured it is? Like, it's not super silky sl slick. Like, that should be looking like a very big contrast. See, with this section, it's too big. And I think. Keep in mind, all the products that I use are a pretty good balance. They're all moisturizing. That's why the hair looks so good. But it's all about the moisture. The moisture.
<sighs> I know. I'm gonna have to cut my hair anyway. Leave me alone, hairstylists. Ugh. You guys are dreaming, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh oh, I heard a snag. See snags usually mean the hair is still wet. That's what it means to me. This is the money making combo for the perfect silk press. You get a moisturizing lotion, a moisturizing mousse, a silk serum, right? That's technically what this is. Alisher, I guess we will call it. And then a good anti humidity spray. That is the winning combo for a good old silk press at home. Because. I'm gonna be honest, I've never ever gotten my hair done. Like, I have never in my life paid to get my hair done. Um, I have an aunt that owns a salon. She's done my hair for free a few times. Um, but that is the extent of it. I have never ever paid to get my hair done. So, you know, if you would like, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I spend a lot of money on my upkeep like my hair my nails and stuff like that but i'm like i wonder how much money i would spend if i got my hair done i i i never got my hair done in my life and to be honest it's not something that bothers me because i like my hair a, a particular way and you know i just never had it done so I spend a lot of my time changing my hair. And then I change my hair up so much that if I got my hair done, 
I'd have no money. So, like, even if I was a celebrity, I would still do my own hair. Maybe at that point I might get, like, higher-end wigs, but I would still install them myself. Like, like Sierra. Sierra Glam Shop. She, she owns a salon. I believe she's a hairstylist. I don't know if she does her own hair, but I would imagine that she probably knows how to do it. Um, well, yeah, she's a hairstylist. What do I mean? But yeah, like, I don't know. If I, if I had, if I had notoriety like that, like, I would, I would definitely do my hair all the time. I think this is too much. But yeah. One important thing about this hair, like I said, is don't put too much product in it, like, it's gonna make it heavy, yeah, yeah I feel like that was enough, yeah. the little, little dime size. So, I was able to get rid of my, well, okay, I'm almost rid of my double chin, but, you know, I have a wedding in a few days, and, like, I'm really, really excited about it, but I'm, like, I heard that, I heard the camera had done sound, so I'm, like, I'm trying to learn how to pose right, so it's, like, I can get my best angles, you know, get my hair right, so that I know so, so we have to have our hair in ponytails, so I want to know which state um, I like this hair best in, so I can figure out how I want my ponytail, right? This shit not gliding through like it was on the other side. Cause you didn't put all the magic stuff in. I am sorry. I'm on the magic stuff. Okay. <laughs> Gotta give those ends some loving, 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 loving.
streaming will be so up. Le beurre, tu comprends Le beurre I was like, oh, I'm straight in it now. so cute okay so i don't want this video to be too too long so i did both of those sides so i'm gonna come back when the hair is fully sh fully blown out and then i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do after okay so i'm back the hair is fully blown out i have to put a rinse because you see my hair is a little brownish reddish i'm gonna put a rinse on it um but yeah here's the hair so um i'm gonna do my edges um and flat iron my lead i really don't need to flat iron it so I'm, i think i'm gonna just do my edges right 